Hey guys, this is Jill Havens, and I am reading the book um, Psycho Cybernetics. And can't think offhand who the author is. Um, it's an old, it's an old book, um, but I usually uh, take it to bed with me when I nap or uh, at night when I go to sleep. And I always come across some great things that um, I think would be great quotes to put on Facebook or stuff that I'd like to share. And today, um, I'm going to read a couple of paragraphs that, uh, to me, had a lot of meaning, meaning to them. So, um, again, this is from Psycho-Cybernetics, and this is talking about self-image. It says, changing your self-image does not mean changing yourself, but changing your own mental picture, your own estimation, conception, and realization of that self. The amazing results that follow from developing an adequate and realistic self-image come about not as a result of tra self-transformation, but from self-realization and self-revelation. Yourself right now is what it has always been and all that it can ever be. You did not create it. You cannot change it. You can, however, realize it and make the most of what already is by gaining a true mental picture of your actual self. There is no use straining to be somebody. You are what you are now. You are somebody, not because you've made a million dollars or drive the biggest car on your block or win at bridge, but because God created you in his own image. Most of us are better, wiser, stronger, more competent right now than we realize. Creating a better self-image does not create new abilities, talents, powers. It releases and utilizes them. We can change our personality, but not our basic self. Personality is a tool, an outlet, a focal point of the self that we use in dealing with the world. It is the sum total of our habits, attitudes, and learned skills, which we use as a method of expressing ourselves. Um, that just kind of spoke to me um, when I read it, and I wanted to share it. And there's one other little paragraph. Um, find it here. This is important. Accept yourself. By all means, engage in self-directed, legitimate self-improvement, but also be yourself. You cannot realize the potentials and possibilities inherent in that unique and special something that is you if you keep turning your back on it, feeling ashamed of it, hating it, unfairly comparing it to false idols, and refusing to recognize it as your greatest asset and ally. Now that, that paragraph there is so important, and it's something that um, I'm, I'm learning not to compare myself to others. Um, Oh, look, I need to look at the camera. Um, not to compare myself with others, but to compare myself against me. You know, what were my results last week? Or what were my results yesterday? As long as I'm getting better compared to me, that's all that matters. And um, that's all that matters for each one of us, really, is comparing ourselves to ourselves and nobody else because everybody, everybody's unique. Everybody has their own gifts um, to give the world and, you know, your gift is different than everybody else's so you cannot compare. You just can't compare apples and oranges and that's all there is to it. Um, something else that I wanted to share, um, I've been having... For a few weeks now, I've been having some, some really off weeks, and uh, not off weeks, but a day or two during each week is a really off day for some reason. Uh, last week was Monday. This week was yesterday. I mean, I didn't want to be near the computer. I didn't want to work. I didn't want to do anything. I wanted to sit and watch TV and not do anything else. And it was one of those days that I felt sorry for myself. And, you know, nothing in particular happened. I mean, little things, but nothing nothing major. It's, it's all mind games. And I have been not super pleased with the results that I've been having in my business lately. Um, so I've been racking my brains trying to figure out what I need to do. Um, should I do this? Should I try this? Should I do this? Should I do this? You know, what should I do? What shouldn't I do? How should I plan my day? It just seems like every single day 
gets away from me. I mean, just like that, the day's gone, and I haven't gotten everything done. I mean, I work full time. I, I run a business. I'm a mom. I, I want to do mom things too. Uh, football season is coming up. My my son's going to be playing football. I have a scrimmage to go to tonight. Uh, my daughter's in color guard. I want to enjoy watching her. I have to find a way that's comfortable for me to fit everything in. And there's some things I just, you know, I can't do everything. That there, I just can't. Because um, I still, you know, I'd like to enjoy life a little bit. And I've spent too much time beating my head up against a brick wall, I think, and, and not really enjoying life. So that needs to change. Um, and it is changing. But when I was trying to figure out what to do, you know, as far as my, my business strategy, um, one thing popped in my head. It's just like, boom. And it was personal development. And I don't want to say I ignored that, but I kind of did um, because to me that wasn't a, an income producing activity and I've not been doing as much of it as maybe I should, but you know what, I, I believe that is an income producing activity because you have to feel good about yourself. You have to believe in yourself in order to put out the vibes that attract people to you. <coughs> Business-wise, personally, <coughs> all that. And that absolutely has to do with personal development. And there's a lot of things that I'm kind of waiting for to happen. Um, and power has got this big new thing and v2 coming up in september the prosperity team has their new ipass coming out we've got pbas coming out um, but none of it um is ready yet and it's like we're kind of waiting and waiting and, and you can't wait you still have to take action which is why i've been trying to figure out what i need to be doing and it hit me, and I didn't pay attention, but I am now. I'm listening. Personal development. And what that means is reading and listening. And I just read to you uh, something I read today from uh, Psycho Cybernetics that I think is important. And as far as um, there's so many books out there, just Google uh, Google personal development. There's all kinds of books. As far as what to listen to, you can go to YouTube. You can... Um, get a Tony Robbins video, a Jim Rohn video, um, got this guy in my mind, I can't think of what his name is, but gosh, um, type in Think and Grow Rich. I mean, you'll find all kinds of things to plug into, but personal development, um, that'll get you where you're going. That'll get you where you want to go. And it is, it doesn't seem like it, but I believe that it's an income producing activity because, um, like I said before, you just have to, you have to build up that confidence to not let anybody push you around, to, to know that you're going to make it no matter what. And so that's going to be my focus. Um, I'm going to... I have my daily plan that I'm going to do every day, and today went really well with that plan, and um, I have plenty of time left over, so I'm going to work on refining that every single day, and uh, I also, you know, like I said, I'm going to have plenty of time for personal development because it's that important, especially while we're kind of in this waiting phase, waiting, waiting to launch phase. I'm going to build up myself personally as much as I can. Um, in, in this period of um, change. So I advise you to do the same thing. And if you need any ideas of what to read, what to listen to, just contact me. You know, leave me a comment on YouTube. Find me on Facebook. Um, I'm there all the time. I'll help you out any way I can. And until next time, we'll see you soon. Thanks for listening.